JJ Williams with Industrial Solutions and today we're going to be doing a video over the EWM TIG speed. This is a hot wire TIG system so we are running TIG but we're also running hot wire so what that means is we're actually going to be preheating the wire as it's coming into the puddle so that can give us a much quicker deposition rate so we can get closer to MIG deposition rates with the TIG welding process. So here we have our torch here we're going to show you how this thing works. So we have our wire liner coming in through the tip that's actually being fed by the wire feeder and then we have our power cable that's actually running to this hot wire block so that we can actually power that wire and heat it up before it actually hits the puddle so we can get our higher deposition rates and then we also have our standard TIG consumables that you would use from your local supply house and then we also have our control buttons on the back of our torch here so that we can control our start and stop on our arc and wire as well as adjust our wire feed speed as we're welding. So now we can take a look at the wire feeder on the TIG speed. So here we can show that we can actually turn on or off the hot wire if needed. So if you're running something like aluminum or something that has a lower melting point, we actually don't need the hot wire because it's already going to melt quick enough. Then we can go down and we can change our um, program so we can have up to 15 programs saved on the wire feeder so we can just hit to our next program without having to go back and change all of our settings. Also, one thing that we are doing with this power supply is we're actually vibrating the wire as it's coming out and agitating that weld puddle. What that's doing is it's actually doing two things for us. It's going to help us off-gas all the oxides that would make us go and wire brush every pass so we can weld root to cap without ever brushing our weld because it's going to off-gas all that oxide. Second off, it's actually going to help us get a much flatter and smoother weld as it's going across because it's shaking that puddle from side to side. So we can actually set that adjustment. We can tell it how fast or slow we want that uh, to oscillate. So we can go from uh, 16 hertz all the way down. We can just turn it all the way off if we don't need it. But what we can also do is we can also set our amperage on our wire as well. So we are running a 30, standard 30 pound MIG spool. Uh, today we're gonna be running a 70S6 at an 035 wire. And then here we have our drive roller. So this is actually what's going to be oscillating our wire forward and backwards. So now we can take a look at the power supply. We're going to be running on a Tetrix 300 by EWM. This is a 300 amp power supply at 210 amps, 100% duty cycle. And we're also running a water cooler to help us keep our uh, torch cool. So what this can do is we can also have all of our information plugged into here. We can have all of our amperages set and we can run programs just like the wire feeder to help making go from pass to pass a much easier process. So now we're going to show you how the root process would work. So like I said before, I have all of my controls right here on the back of the torch. So I don't need any kind of foot pedals or anything else like that. So here we go.
Now we've completed our cat pass on our six inch schedule 80. Hopefully you can see the speed with the hot wire TIG from EWM compared to your normal TIG process. I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching.